Fox News is upset. They're upset because they uh, checked out this poll considering what's going on with Russia invading Ukraine. And they wondered if Americans would take up arms to defend their homeland against an invasion because we like to fantasize about those types of things. Let, let's go straight into their, uh, uh, their disapproval of these polls. A new Quinnipiac poll asks, what would you do if you were in the same position as Ukrainians are right now? Would you stay and fight or leave the country? More than half of Democrats, 52% say they would cut and run if America were invaded. Only 40% say that they would stick it out. This contrasts sharply with the 68% of Republicans who say they would stay to fight for the country. Mark Thiessen. Well, even more disturbing than the uh, the, the, the partisan uh, dynamic there is the generational dynamic. Uh, you're all too young to remember, but the, in 1984 there was a fantastic all, movie uh, called yeah. uh, <laughs> called Red Dawn. <laughs> Red Dawn. Wolverine. It was a story of a, it was a, Wolverines exactly. It was a story <laughs> of a, a Soviet invasion of of America, and these high school kids, led by Patrick Swayze and Charlie Sheen, form an insurgency to beat the Russia to beat the Russians. Well, the Wolverines are no more. Uh, they, it should, that poll shows that every generation except Gen X and Millennials would stay and fight. 52% of those over 65 would stay and fight. God bless the, the silent generation and the boomers. But only 45% of Gen X and millennia, uh, Gen Z and Millennials would stay and fight. 48% would flee. So Charlie, she, I'm sorry, uh, Patrick Swayze's rolling over in his grave. <laughs> Man, he's about to go Charlie Sheen on, don't do that. Um, so uh, apparently uh, those libs are soft and they're weak and they wanna run from the fight. Stick it out, I'm sorry, it's either stick it out or cut and run. That's the terms they use because that's very Fox News-ish. Um, so uh, you heard some of those numbers, Was why are you such a, a weakly? <laughs> Listen, I'm a pacifist, I'm not taking part <laughs> in any war. But you know, at the same time, like this is just some hypothetical poll, I actually do think um, if there was some level of invasion by a foreign country, I, I do think people would actually be galvanized and rise up against that stuff. Um, I, I, you know, I'm old enough to remember 9/11, where even somebody like me, living in New York City, I was a patriot. I was like, we got to get these guys. Uh -huh. They can't just attack us. <laughs> you know, so if you were alive and sentient during 9/11, and you remember how just like. That's the only time in my lifetime I felt like the country was in complete agreement and on the same page for something unfortunately, which was war against you know the brown people overseas. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if an actual invasion happened, if people weren't like, F that, give me a gun, we're gonna take these guys down. Like the thing is, they're pushing through all these hypotheticals so they can have this partisan conversation about how weak Democrats <laughs> yeah. are and how strong Republicans are. Every time we talk about the strength and 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 tenacity of Republican, they say a lot and they don't do much afterwards. We already know that, first of all. So you can say all you want how much you're going to stay and fight, but nobody really knows. Um, and whatever those numbers are of whoever they polled of the maybe 2,000 people that they polled, who cares? What does that have to do with the the broader uh, argument here, which is? You know, you guys are weak. That's why there's always these people who say, like Madison Cawthorn, we're gonna have a civil war, and I have no doubt that we're gonna win. Because somehow they think that these are these lines will just be drawn of people coming out from Main Street and they'll walk down to Spring Street and start shooting those libs and it'll be all over. It's just I'm not sure what they imagine real life would be like in these situations or why America would be at the point where citizens have to come out of their homes with guns to now defend their front lawns. At that point, a lot of other really horrible things have already happened. If people are walking up on your lawn, you gotta walk up and defend your homeland. Now, also, I'm trying to figure out when conservatives are gonna make a decision on whether or not they love Hollywood or if they hate Hollywood. Cuz now they're all commando. I mean, they're on a Schwarzenegger <laughs> and they're a one man army and they're, they're Rambo and they're fighting a whole, an entire a, a, a army in the middle of a jungle somewhere. And they're just badasses. That's, these are these imaginary scenarios that they go through and how much they love it. Those things were created in a Hollywood studio. Let's look at that uh, um, that uh, that Red Dawn uh, poster that they were fantasizing about. You're none of these folks. You're not a child at the bottom there, holding a gun, waiting to shoot. This is not happening that way. And many people, if you do have children, you know one of the reasons why you might leave because you have children. You go, hey Johnny, get out there and start shooting. It's just not the way it's really gonna be. And um. I mean, you're not Rocky IV, you're not gonna be fighting off the Soviets and then take them over. These are fantasies. These are fantasies that they have about how badass they are. And if you're fantasizing about how badass you are, it's a good indication that you're not very badass.
That's it's a- also a good indication that you've never actually seen actual violence um, with your own two eyes. That's the only way you can fetishize yeah. and basically glamorize the idea of war and taking up arms and killing people. Um, if you've never been around that stuff and all you ever do is watch TV and movies about it, where it seems like whatever, when a guy gets shot in a movie, it's just like, all right, we move on with our lives and it's fine. Totally. Uh, that's that's <laughs> what that is to me. It's like how safe and comfy people are that they would think like, oh, it's gonna be a great idea. It's gonna be an amazing thing when mass violence breaks out. Yeah, there's nothing more American than seeing a conflict over overseas and going, I wish that happened here. I'll tell you what we do. And just calm down. Amazing. And let's talk about what's happening over there.